and uh, Hootsie Shvili not yet in double figures in any department. It's all Murray here. Yeah, the problem for Hootsie Shvili, the punching, that's what I was just saying. Target behind the elbow, an uppercut right through the middle with this high guard that he's marching in behind. And just be a little bit wary when you see him setting himself. You don't, don't want to be pulling away from his attacks when he launches the punches. You want to pull the chin down and block them. We're watching the 2004 ABA welterweight champion who's unbeaten in 12 professional fights so far, Martin Murray. A real hope from uh, the Northwest. Lovely guy out of the ring, big rugby league fan. And he's uh, got his life back on the straight and narrow through boxing, went through some dodgy patches, admittedly. So it'll be great to see him march on through into title class. And he's got a bit of class about him, hasn't he, Jim? Yeah, but he's got a lovely pro style. Doesn't waste anything. I mean, he hasn't really been extended tonight as yet, you know, he's been doing everything within himself. The only thing he has to be careful of are these swinging punches that uh, Christian Shvili every now and again lets go with. Right hand, though, just extracts more blood from the nose. Can't deal with those combinations and the extra zest from Murray, who just turns southport. Just to give Hootsie something to think about. Back to Orthodox and the jab back into that eye. That was the uppercut right through the middle, that worked a treat. He was just kind of toying with the punches until he was ready to let the big shots go. That was nicely done by Murray. That's the punch you were calling for. Maybe he just wanted to have a real look at the Georgian for the first couple of rounds and then start to put those sort of shots into place. That sensible, intelligent work. And another uppercut, really good from Murray, picking his punches perfectly. Yeah, he's found the punches that are working now, the uppercut and uh, the body shots behind the elbow. Enthusiasm out of Hootsie Shvili from Georgia. A few more of these uppercuts and body shots, and the nose now bleeding profusely. Might just do the job. Still got to be careful. See, he swings those overhand punches, and if you use his nose bleeding badly there, let's just look to maybe discourage a little bit there. That was a distress signal, no question about it. Steve Gray, the referee, taking a closer look. 20 seconds left in the third. Martin Murray could be on the verge of his fourth stoppage win. It's pretty much been a punch-perfect performance on his comeback from Price Fighter. His face is becoming a bloody mask because of the nose. Hootsie's Philly. And there may not be much more of this. Referee takes a really close look at the end of the third. Hello, Georgian fighter Kakaba. Amatizi in the corner. With his countryman, who's nearly Jim at the end of this challenge. Yeah, well, the uppercuts that we've been praising have caused the damage to the nose, so I think Kutsishvili is in pain, probably he's breathing, struggling to breathe out of the nose, and I just think he's been sick, and the referee's over at the moment having a word with him, so wouldn't be surprised maybe if I think it's time to get him out of there, but you can see that was at the distress signs here. I think we're still going ahead with the fight, but the referee just keeping his eye on him. Seconds out, round four. And not a happy corner, the red one. Those white and red trunks of Mikhail Hucci's Philly, who's lost every session in a big way to Martin Murray. And it's getting harder for him in there. Murray 
easing his way back from his prize fighter heroics down in London. Chano was an exhausting night for him. He was the favourite and the first favourite in prize fighter to come through and take it. I don't think the referee will be too far away from stopping this if it becomes a little bit one-sided. And I think the fact that Husishvili was showing as though he's maybe his heart had gone out of it, but he started this round okay, he's fired up again. So again, Murray just wants to be careful. Oh, he's turned his back there, Jim. That was dangerous from the Georgian. And body shots from Murray. And this is earlier in the round. And he may very well not get through this session. All sorts of problems for Hootsishvili and Martin Murray ready to pounce. And that's it. Sensible stoppage from Steve Gray. 13 out of 13 from Martin Murray. He won prize fighter last year. Could he win a title this year? Yeah, well, he certainly looked class tonight. The, the performance may have flattered him a little bit. Uh, this is really didn't have a great idea of how to trouble him. But uh, also nice to see a good bit of refereeing. I think the referee, as soon as things started to go against, this is really he was going to step in, and that's exactly what he did. It was one-sided, it wasn't competitive. So a good shout and an excellent performance from Martin Murray. I mean, he was just doing pretty much as he pleased, and that's where the Hussage really wanted to see how much no blood was coming from the nose. He was looking despondent, he was looking out of it. He knew he couldn't get himself into this. So when it's not competitive any longer, and the man's earned his money, then get him out of there before any damage is done. I mean, that was a kind of a bit of inexperience there. But I think that may have been just part of the thing, showing the referee, I've had enough of this. Get me out of here, and thankfully that's what happened. Good, Good performance from Martin Murray. We have the time, one minute and 13 seconds of the fourth round. Referee Steve Gray deems that Husi Shivali was in no position to continue. Your winner from St. Helens and still unbeaten, Martin Murray. One, two, three, four, five, just testing uh, the sound out. I wonder what Martin Murray spent his 25 grand on. Hang on, OK. Martin Murray, welcome back from your prize fighter heroics. How did you find it getting back to the uh, normal day at the office? It was, uh, I mean, it was all right. It's been, a, seems like a long time since that last prize fighter, but I got in there, just enjoyed it. Spot on. Did it give your confidence the boost and put you on the map, prize fighter, and then you followed it up tonight with a really nice performance? Yeah, well, that was it. That was why I went in. Adam, you know what I mean? I went in that for that reason, reason for boosting my profile. And this lad who we got today, was, um, we didn't know how to about him. He just come over, he did his job, really. We got four rounds. And uh, it went all right, the fight went to plan and that. And it was, uh, it was a good show. You can show us, you can box, you can fight, you've got a, a big support as well. What are the plans now? Are we going to close in on British title shots? Oh, yeah, definitely, without, without a shadow of a doubt. I mean, that, that was another fight closer to a British title for me. I need a few more fights like that. I mean, obviously, I need them harder than that. Get a few more hard rounds under my belt, and then 12, 12, 18 months time, I'll be more than ready for a challenge to the big boys at middleweight, yeah. Exciting times. Well done tonight, Martin.